Now we're going to talk about landing pages and how do they work. Converting visitors into leads is the first step in creating a relationship between your company and the potential customer. The more landing pages you have, the better. In fact, HubSpot conducted a recent study that showed that the marketeers saw a 55% increase in leads when they increased the number of landing pages on their sites from 10 to 15. This data alone tells us that landing pages are important. But if you aren't sure what this means for your company, do not fret. Everything you need to know about the, what landing pages are and how they work is right here. What is a landing page? A landing page is a page on your site that is designed to convert visitors into leads. A landing page is different from other pages in that it follows both of these criteria. Number one. It has a form that allows you to capture a visitor's information in exchange for a desired offer. Number two, the sole purpose of the landing page is to convert visitors into leads. If you remember anything from this, remember that a landing page is any page on your website with no navigation and, fo and form used to convert visitors into leads and every site should have them. Simply put, landing page is any page with no distractions that has a form on it now we're going to talk about how landing pages work we use money every day to pay for goods and services the concept of monetary value can be applied to the logistics behind a landing page in that you're exchanging equally valuable information depending on which which side of the exchange you're standing on a visitor will fill out the form on the landing page because they believe the content they are accessing will be valuable to them. On the opposite side of the coin, a marketeer will gladly give you the piece of content to the site visitor because the valuable information they desire is the information the visitor provides on the form to use in future marketing efforts. It's a win-win situation. Behind the scenes of landing pages work like step number one. A person sees a call to action and ends up on a landing page with a form. Step number two. The person fills out a form which converts them from a visitor into lead. Step number three. The information from the form fields is then stored in your leads database. What are the elements of a landing page and how do they work? Okay, so the landing page is a powerful tool for lead generation. How does it work? First, you need an offer. First off, you need to have an offer. It can be an ebook, a checklist, a bundle of delicious and relevant information consisting of links and downloads. The offer must be of interest to your ideal customer and relate to the stage of the buy-in cycle she or he is in. Generally, when a prospect is at the early stages, the offer will be more educational and relate to, to research and options available. Further down the buying journey, the offer will be more focused on buying criteria and the decision-making process. Then you create a landing page for the offer. A landing page includes several elements, like a page completely focused on the offer. Even website navigation gets removed so as not to distract from the offer. Number two, a compelling headline and space to explain how the offer delivers sufficient value. That a visitor would agree to leave an email address and other information. Includes bullets to detail benefits. Number three, an image showing what your offer looks like. Number four, a form for capturing a minimum an email at minimum an email address and as relevant more information. His name company name, persona qualification question, and business questions. And number five, a means for delivering the offer, aka the thank you page. There are several types of landing pages, and each type serves a specific offer. For example, I'll talk about seven types of landing pages. Not all landing pages are the same in design or intent. The first type of landing page, click through landing pages, quickie smurf. This is a very simple form of landing page. The sole purpose is to provide the necessary details about an offer, explaining the benefits and context of use in such a way as to convince a prospect to progress to the point of purchase. 
All you can do is read about the offer and click through to the company's website, where they will get you to complete the transaction. For more explanation, Quickie Smurf doesn't really care about your needs. He is only interested in making sure you're familiar with the offer at hand before passing you to the checkout. He'll use quick bullet points to explain the benefits, a big sign to show the offer 50% off, and then he'll shove you over to the big shiny button that transports you to Accounting Smurf on the main website. Second type of landing page, Lead Capture Landing Pages, Hungry Smurf. Often referred to as squeeze pages, the purpose of lead capture landing pages is to gather personal data from the visitor, usually beginning with their name and email address. A true squeeze page has absolutely no exit from the from path from the page, no links or navigation, only a button to submit your details. An incentive is typically offered in exchange for this personal data. We'll be covering examples of these incentives in tomorrow's post. To be more specific, Hungry Smurf cares only for the personal information she can extract from you. She stuffs her cube boards full of it before passing it on the mail name, Surf Smurf when the time is right. The reason a company would use a lead capture landing page is to build an email list for of re relevant potential customers. This list will then be used to market to these people in the future. Third type of landing pages. Infomercial landing pages. Sham Wow Smurf. As implied by the name, these landing pages are the infomercials of the online marketing world. Typically about 50 feet long, they work by using the same type of excitable language you've seen on those Sham Wow commercials on TV. As the user reads further down the page, they get sucked deeper into the sales message. And due to the amount of effort expended in reading that far, they instill a certain amount of commitment which keeps them reading. It's sort of like swimming across the ocean. When you get 51% of off the way across, there is little point in turning back. To be more specific, by the time you have read two paragraphs of text and 15 bullet points, you are probably questioning the authenticity of the offer. But it's, it's that good that you can't help but hope it's real. Sham Wow Smurf is right there, offering you a two for one time limited offer. Buy it now before stocks run out. He'll even try to convince you that it extends really does make you bigger. Sham Wow Smurf products aren't available in stores. The fourth type of landing pages. Viral landing pages. Network Smurf. Companies that try to create viral buzz are usually doing so in order to build brand awareness. Examples of these type of pages usually contain fun flash games or funny videos. They'll have a subtle reference to the company behind the creation, whether it's small logo or a powered by reference in the footer, a closing reference in the video or indirect product reference in the game or video. Given that the goal of these pages is to have them spread to as many people as possible, they utilize two key elements. First key is great content. No matter how hard you try, your work will never go viral. It's lame, just like its real world counterpart, a medical virus. It's not going to spread anywhere near as much as infected person isn't of sufficient influence interest or mobility to interact with other people. Companies blindly chasing their own viral moment are often just jumping on the buzzword bandwagon. You can take steps to enable the viral process, but at the end of the day, your page has to be really cool and relevant to stand a chance. The second element, sharing enablers. Truly great content doesn't technically need enablers as people will simply cut and pass the URL into an email or MSN messenger. But you can boost your chances of success by including simple social media tools. A good example is the Twitter retweet button. Network Smurf loves to hang out in, in a crowd, sharing this experience with as many other Smurfs as possible. His video of Smurfit at the Christmas party was so funny that the whole Smurf town saw it. 
the fifth type of landing pages microsites independent smurf a microsite is a small but complete supplementary website used for fairly large campaigns they will normally have their own vanity URL related to the timing and the relevance of the campaign even though it's more than a single page it's still classified as a landing page as it's this as it's a destination where customers are driven from paid online ads as well as print and tv advertising car manufacturers often take advantage of, advantage of these formats producing specialized microsites for each type of vehicle they produce they are usually higher budget designs using quality photography and are often built in flash they are sometimes used in a co-branded scenario where the microsite is provided to localize dealerships enabling them to provide more consistent sales messaging for their own adver advertising efforts another common user of web microsites are for movie trailer sites they are high traffic sites that only exist for the sole purpose of promoting the movie so they don't need the infrastructure of a permanent website for more information independent smurf is a bit of a snob he has a big house and tons of money and doesn't need anything from corporate he thinks he's perfectly self-sufficient and can host a party at his place with all necessary entertainment sadly the search engines sometimes get lost on the way to the party cause the flashy paint he uses disguises the house from their robot taxis independent smurf isn't as capable as he thinks though because he often lacks the ability to collect any money or the party tickets this means that he usually has to run a bus back to headquarters so people can use their credit card product detail landing pages know it all smurf a common style of landing page in the retail industry is the product detail landing page this is just a page on the main website that houses all of the information related to the product for sale the benefit of this type of landing page is that it requires no extra work to create a separate page however as it's part of the compete website it has a full suit of distractions navigation links banners etc all of which can take the customer away from the intended action, action, making it more complex to track the success of your campaigns. They could wander off and buy something else, which is all good and well, but it creates mixed messages for tracking purposes as it could show up as a non-converting customer. Assuming that your success metric is the, pur to pur the purchase of the original landing page item. For more info, now it all Smurf is a subject matter expert. He knows every possible detail about the product you are selling. Features, specifications, comparison charts, customer reviews, he has it all. The problem with Know It All Smurf is that he can be overwhelming and unfocused. Before showing you how or where to buy the product, he insists on showing you photos of three other related products that he wants to buy that he wants you to buy. The seventh type of landing page. Home page as a landing page. Attention, deficit disorder smurf. This is the laziest of all the landing page types, and as such, it performs the worst when it comes to conversion rate. All too often, marketeers will create expensive campaigns only to send everyone to the home page. Why is this bad? Because it's got too many distractions. The basic pr premise of a successful landing page is that it has a single focused purpose a focused landing page enables you to measure your campaign effectiveness from start to finish and tweak the ad copy offer and messaging until you see optimal results how well if no one arrives at your landing page the banners and google adwords ads are not doing their job if they arrive at the landing page but don't convert your landing page isn't optimized. Ad Smurf can't even function when faced with too much choice. What he needs is a thin long corridor with a big red door at the end. Advertise a 42 flat screen TV, then dump Ad Smurf 
in the middle of the Sony store and you quickly find him sitting on a comfy sofa watching Star Wars on the 120 LCD with massive, massive wireless surround sound speakers. After enjoying this sublime experience for five minutes, he'll stand up for forget why he's even in the store and head out the door. Now let's talk about which landing page type is the best. It really depends on what your campaign goals are, but generally speaking, a more focused landing page will convert better. Using a standalone landing page compared to sending visitors to your homepage is considered to improve conversions rates by approximately 25%. Another important consideration is landing page optimization. By doing simple A-B testing on your landing pages, you can improve their conversion rates from 2 times to 10 times. Quite often, it is harder to get changes approved when they are inside your corporate website. This can be due to technical resource constraints or infrastructural limitations that make it hard to implement a testing framework. Standalone pages can remove some of this pain. They can reside outside the primary website structure and as they aren't linked to internally, you only arrive at them from ads. There is less chance of political resistance to frequent changes. If you aren't using standalone landing pages, you should try whipping up a quick page template for your next PPC campaign. Set up two identical ads and send 50% of the traffic to your landing page and 50% of the homepage to see which performs best.